All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to build a self-draining reservoir using nothing but an Arduino, a couple of sensors, and some things that you can find around the house. So how this works is that it works off of a servo motor and water level sensor. So you can see here is a servo motor, and how it works is that it can go from zero to 180 degrees based off of supplied current and voltage. And then this water level sensor here that you can see in the cup that works as a variable resistor. Uh, if you zoom in again there, thank you. Uh, it's composed of these 10 copper traces on the face of it, and they are interlaced between each other. There's a sense trace and a ground trace. So to start with no water in contact with the sensor, they are pulled apart by one mega ohm resistor. When water comes in contact with the sensor, the sense trace will be pulled down to the ground trace in the sense. And from that, a output voltage can be recorded. And if you zoom in here on the serial monitor, here's where those values will come, up, will come up. And then that's how we set the thresholds to tell the servo motor to rotate. All right, so how this is gonna work is I'm gonna pour some water in here. As it rises on the, the water level sensor, the servo motor should turn outwards, opening up the little uh, man-made hole that is there and it should drain. So here I'm gonna slowly pour in this water. It might leak a little bit. So you see there, the pencil opened up as it rose on the sensor. And we're gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> but uh, so now as the water drains, this might take a minute. But as the water drains, the values on the, if you zoom in here on the serial monitor, they will slowly decrease. And I have a preset threshold based off of the code. I think I set it at 350. So once those values get below 350, the pencil should close the hole. And as you can see here, the it is still barely draining because the hole is so tiny. But once the water level gets low enough on the sensor, it will, the pencil will close and basically plug the reservoir in a sense. So this thing has some real world applications. If there are any real reservoirs or dams or something like that, that need to be drained from maybe a lot of waterfall, water or rainfall or something like that. So, and this was made off of a very tight budget. So just things that you can find around the house and the sensors. Uh, so if you guys want to give it a try to build it, you know, go ahead.